Good morning, everybody. Friday is here already. Can you believe it? That week went fast. So I've tried something daring today. I wore jeans without lining, okay? I think it's going to be warm enough today that I'm going to be comfortable without them. We shall see. I brought some along just in case. I'm tired of wearing all this winter gear. I want to start wearing lighter clothing again so I can move around a little better. And It's going to be a good day. All right, let's go around to the back corner. The shop was supposed to look at my truck uh, yesterday evening. Hopefully they got to it. Get my super special gate card out here. There's a keypad up there for the trucks, but there's none down here for the vehicles, so you just have to reach up. You know, daylight savings time is going to hit, we're going to switch our clocks, and that sun will already be in the sky when we get to work then. Pretty sure that's how, that's how that works, right? Spring, we spring forward. What are you doing here, bud? What are you doing? I see you're backing up there, so let me sneak behind you. I'm sorry. Sorry, that was... I don't know what you're doing. Oh, he waved at me. Okay, he saw me. Oh, oh, I got new mud flaps and new brackets. Nice. Check it out. They're the curved ones. That looks nice. I'm glad they're matching. I was scared they were going to put one... Uh, replace the one and it wouldn't match the other one it was gonna drive me nuts but no they replaced them both thank you very much because yesterday uh, uh, there was an incident <laughs> wasn't a big incident uh, it's an old truck right old truck and the spring that holds the mud flap bracket in the back onto the frame broke inside there and so the thing just clunk it fell off I only have one mud flap and you, you can't have that especially when you're bobtailing so uh, I, I told the shop right away so I just emailed them immediately said hey this happened I don't know and uh, they were on it right away so I parked it here yesterday and now I'm back it's in the exact same spot again and I, I thought that they were just gonna replace the one side but thank God they replaced both sides so that my OCD doesn't go absolutely crazy I don't have the the biggest OCD okay uh, obviously because not a lot of things bother me but I do like things to be symmetrical okay if one side's gonna be like the angled I'll, I'll show you it's much easier if I show you all right so here she is right so this was the one that had fallen off and you see there's a spring in here so this thing can move a little bit see it's supposed to be able to move a little bit so that it doesn't break off that easy. It has a little bit of flex to it. And uh, the old ones on here were just straight right across here, right? So this one over here was straight and I was kind of worried that they were going to uh, leave the straight one on this side and put a curved one on that side and then it wouldn't match. They know me better than that. <laughs> Thanks guys, I appreciate you uh, making the match. Good morning, my lady. So let me check your oil here real quick, all right? Da -da. Yep, look right in the middle. Okay, we're still looking good. Thing's not losing any oil, that's good. All right, ah, you can see the mechanics were in here. I really do appreciate it, guys, when you uh, put that on the seat. I really do. Sometimes, you know, they're they're in the shop. They got grease on their back. Maybe they didn't realize it. And then they get in the truck. They put the grease on the seat. And then you get in the truck and you get grease on your stuff. I've noticed that here, they're always very good about it. They always cover your seat for you. It's really nice. I appreciate that. All right, girl. Come to life for me. Oh, what happened over here? Hey. Hey, wake up. What happened there? Oh, there it is. Ah, just took a second. I know it's early. There you go. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm happy to see you. I gotta go to the shop and uh, grab a little bit of washer fluid. I'm running low. And I told myself not to forget. So 
so we better go do it right now before I forget. Landing gears up. Lights working, trailer filling with air. This one doesn't have a manual air dump, so it should just start filling on its own. But we're gonna double check. Yeah, there's air going in there, slowly, but it's going in there. What do we got going on here? Everything looks good. Let's take a peek inside there in just a second. I don't know what's in here. Might be an empty. Hopefully it's not dirty. Let's see. Oh no, we got stuff in here. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta do a little bit of cleanup. But, uh, all right. Looks like we got two levels, got some machines in there. Looks like fun. I don't know where they're going yet, but. Uh, I'm just gonna pull it out of the spot here, out into the open. We'll get all those bars and stuff put away nicely. A little tug test here. I'm not gonna lose my trailer. It'd be very embarrassing. Oh, she's she's on there. Okay. Uh, let's go get our paperwork and find out where we're going. All right, so we've got a couple of machines in here. And I just gotta make sure that they're in the right order. We got one up there, and we got two down here. So where's my paperwork? Ugh. I've gotta make sure that uh, they're in the right order. So first we're going to Winnipeg. Uh, then we're going to Steinbeck. Cool. And then to Pine Falls. So just make sure these serial numbers are in the right order and then we'll be on our way. Stop number one. That's how we get them off. Just drive them right off. Bit of a sweat first thing in the morning. It's not that bad though. It wasn't that bad. They make it pretty easy with the whole unloading process here. They have a great system with the ramps and the floors. It makes it as easy as possible without paying like a million dollars for a trailer with an automatic floor that goes up and down. And those are really heavy too. Uh, there are trailers out there that have like floors, like our second floor, which put it up manually. There are floors that like have a, or power, they go up and down. We don't have any, as far as I know. But uh, those trailers, just empty, sit at 40,000 pounds, just empty. So you can't haul much weight with them. All you can do are these side-by-sides. Whereas these trailers, we can haul any kind of freight because all of that extra stuff in there for hauling the ATVs, it only adds an extra 1,500 pounds into the trailer. So we can still haul pretty much everything else and not be overweight. limits right now. 
so I'm not gonna switch on the engine brake or the jake brakes. Just around the corner, we got a little flying day card lock. And I want to make sure that I'm topped up. I got pretty big tanks out here because this used to be a highway truck. So I'm not worried, I'm not gonna run out of fuel, but then I don't have to, uh, I don't have to do it at the end of my day. It'll be pretty much full, ready to go next week. Because I don't know where I'm going to be at the end of my day. All I know is that right now, I'm right close by, so why not? Get it out of the way. Here we are. How many of you have been to this place? They have truck parking for maybe five trucks. Maybe seven if you want to get a little squishy. But they're usually full, so don't count on it. There we go. There we go. Okay. We got a lot to do today, so uh, I'll see you down the road. Stop number two. We need to get this one down off the top level here. First, we gotta line up this, this is where the ramp is gonna sit in. Line it up with that tire there. Center of that with the center of that tire. This one, center of this tire here. Okay, now we get the ramps, put them in there, lock them in. And then you get the set of ramps to the bottom yet, lock them in there, and then you just. Wood -dunk, wood -dunk. Just like that. Oh, there we go. Make sure it's in there straight. Make sure it lines up with the wheels. These specific ones are heavier than some of them, but there's a couple of different designs that we use. This design is my least favorite, but it works. There you go. Down one set, down the next set, and out. Another happy customer. I'm gonna be honest, I wish I was the customer. <laughs> I wanna be on that side of this transaction. I'd like one of those.
got ourselves another trailer. There was two floors set up in there, so I had to uh, put away the floor. I'll show you that another day. For now, just quickly threw the floor up so that it's just an empty trailer, swept it out. We're ready to go do some more trucking. the dock and there goes the red light they got me locked in I'll have to show you that contraption sometime uh, most docks have it already uh, you you bump the dock right but your trailer against the dock where they're gonna unload it and then a hook comes out and it grabs onto your bumper and holds you in so that you don't drive away when you're not supposed to when they're in the trailer or half in the trailer half on the dock that's look it up on YouTube that can be pretty dangerous and brutal so I got a red light flashing in my mirror here on the wall. As soon as they're done, the green light will start flashing. Then I go inside and grab my paperwork. And then we're free. Oh, I gotta put my e-log to loading my trailer. Eh. My e-log, I'm still on e-logs even though I'm city driver now, so e-logs every day. And uh, I need to get a mount for this here. Let me take you off here, one second. I need to get a mount for uh, this. I've already requested it, they're, they're on it. It's already got this little ball thingy here. Right now I'm using it to hang my mask and stuff. But uh, usually it would come out and it would sit somewhere about like right here. And then it's it's harder to, f to forget it. It was down there on the seat. I always forget to put myself in off duty. <sighs> it is what it is, not a big deal. So yeah, let's uh, wait till they get us loaded up here. We'll head back and see what else they have for us to do on this fine Friday. Green light, that means she's ready. Let's go get our paperwork. So there's three orders that they loaded up in here. Let's go see. Okay, I gotta figure out how much space we got in here. So I'm gonna do the old, uh, old fashioned step test. My feet are about a foot long. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about twelve feet. Alright. So there's three orders in here. One's going to Stratford, Connecticut, one's going to Athens, Georgia, and the other one's going to Las Vegas, Nevada. Close her up, we'll uh, send him a message right away. Tell him we got 12 feet. I'm gonna put my trailer right in there. I didn't get that one out of my way.
rolling into Steinbach here. I'm trying to catch up to Mr. Ford guy here. That's what his plate says, Ford guy. That is a nice F-150. That's okay, you can turn in front of me. Beautiful, man. And I'm a Chevy guy. Beautiful. Wow. I mean, it's not a Chevy, but wow, right? Ford makes good trucks. I mean, I wouldn't be against buying one. Oh shoot, I gotta go to Shoppers. I gotta pick something up for Brett. I forgot. Okay, well we're gonna go do a U-turn. Can't do a U-turn at this intersection, but I can do a U-turn here, which makes no sense, but hey, whatever. The law is the law. They want us to do our U-turns here. We'll get to see Mr. Ford guy again. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in front of him now. It was actually faster to go do this and then just to wait at the light. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have a trick up my sleeve. I have a trick up my sleeve. Very slowly now. You don't want to go rushing through parking lots, but... Oh, here goes Mr. Ford guy. Here he comes. He's going to be right in front of us. Nice truck. Nice truck, man. Let's go catch up to him again. Come here, buddy. Get back here. Come here. Oh, he's turning. He's turning. Okay, well, maybe he got scared off. We scared him off, guys. We scared him off. I didn't want to race him or stalk him or anything. I just wanted to look at his nice truck. What? Don't you worry, though. We're still Chevy to the bone. Is that a saying? I just made that up now. It's, it's now a saying. Chevy to the bone. There's nothing wrong with us admiring the competition. You want good competition, right? Good competition makes you better. Right? Because if the competition is making some nice looking trucks like that, you know that you gotta up your game and make even better trucks. That way, everybody wins. That's why we have competition. It never works when there's a monopoly because then nobody's happy because then just everybody, you get it, you get it, okay? Dodge, you're all right too, you're all right. Okay, I gotta go into shoppers here.